this fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you throwing out the Queensbury uh -huh. rules in the walkout for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he has very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 27. Some differences in height and reach. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen. So here we go from T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and wherever we are in the world. Most fighters on this roster, to a man, to a woman, they want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. You absolutely want to fight in Las Vegas. Before it was the MGM Grand, it was the Mandalay Bay. Now it is the T-Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world, in the home to the biggest UFC fight right now. The international fight with the championship fights all across the board become the team Ooh, what a punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Please look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Straight right hand, no good. himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Oh, big punch land. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Final seconds of round one. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. 
Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Round two underway. Oh, just opening up on him now. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, big damaging knees here. Still I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Just over three minutes to go in round two. <laughs> well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the puzzle. Oh, he got absolutely blown. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Just shot there to end the fight, really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Now we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fighter